Hi, my name is Elliot Galvin and I am a fourth year civil engineering student at Swansea. Today I'll give you a bit of an insight as to what first year modules are like. So starting with engineering sustainability. This module covers sustainability considerations and ideas that should be present in everything that we do as engineers. So I'll have lectures delivered by staff from the different research groups within Swansea University that they'll showcase some of the great research being undertaken to help create a more sustainable future. One example being the specific research groups at building as power stations project. The idea there is to integrate a flexible solar panel coating onto steel panels during manufacture and buildings can then generate their own energy. So introduction to civil engineering materials. This module offers an introduction to material properties and behaviour discussing how and why materials behave in a certain way when used in a structural setting. As part of this module you'll actually have a chance to get in the labs and complete hands-on experiments where you'll get to physically test samples for destruction and see what the failure mechanisms look like and how and why they occur. So then you've got strength of materials. Uh, this introduces concepts of stress and strains, how they form and transfer our materials, what effect they have on individual structural members, and then how they affect a structure as a whole. Uh, engineering mechanics takes the concepts learned in strength of materials and introduction to materials and applies them to simple systems. So we'll use equilibrium theory to complete analysis of beams, truss structures, as well as learning how to consider common uh, constraints such as fixed pins and roller connections. Then moving on from those three, you've got the civil engineering structural analysis practice. So like the previous modules, you'll cover how to apply material properties and mechanical concepts to practical problems, be taken through more complex structural analysis procedures for trusses, beams and frames. Uh, this and engineering mechanics are full of fundamental analysis techniques that will be expanded on in years two, three and four. These are very key concepts, hence why four of the 12 first year modules are based around mechanics and structures in some form. Uh, so moving away from structures, you've got Engineering Analysis 1A and 2A. They are both pure maths modules. Engineering Analysis 1A aims to bridge the gap between A-levels and university by covering in more detail pure maths concepts from Core 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, this may be a revision for some of you and new content for others, but overall it just makes sure that everyone's got a detailed uh, understanding and good grounding in pure maths going forward. And then you have Engineering Analysis 2, which then builds on everything learned in 1A uh, introduces more complex concepts like matrices, imaginary numbers and vector manipulation. Anyone who's done further math will be aware of most of these concepts from 1A and 2A, but you may not have covered them in as much detail. Uh, if you haven't done further math, don't worry. In addition to the lectures, there are weekly problem sheets that are set. There's also the Maths Cafe, which is like a drop-in session where you can speak to PhD demonstrators and lecturers to ask for help with anything maths related. So lots of support there to help you uh, if you are struggling. <coughs> Engineering professional development. This module encompasses lots of soft skills that will help you become a better and more well-rounded engineer. So you get the chance to test and improve communication skills both in report, writing uh, and delivering presentations. The module also includes discussions around ethics and morals within the context of engineering projects and engineering research. Uh, there's also a coursework in this module which acts as a soft introduction to coding. So at Swans University, we use a software package called MATLAB and there's a chance to learn some basic coding skills and write some simple scripts. Again, don't worry if you've never done this before. Uh, lecturers will start from the very basics of coding and build up from there. So even if you've never coded before with a bit of practice, you will be fine. The next module to consider is graphical communication for design. You can be the best engineer in any given field with amazing ideas and quality designs. But if you can't pass those ideas and designs on to others, that's a big problem. This module will teach how to draw both AutoCAD and hand sketches effectively. It also looks at best practice when reading and interpreting existing drawings. Uh, in the second half of the module, you'll be introduced to Autodesk's 3D modeling program, Revit. This is a very powerful tool that allows you to create not just 3D models, but you can assign attribute information to these objects. So you could attach beam sizes, material specifications, maintenance information, etc., to a 3D model. Uh, and this can have a huge positive impact and efficiency on the way a project works. Uh, a lot of this is being starting to be implemented in industry, so the fact that Swansea are introducing this to you in the first year is a huge bonus. Uh, so next module is highway design and surveying. So this introduces the process of designing highway geometry, cross sections, long sections, curvatures, etc. Uh, the module includes four surveying practicals that take place on campus using tripods and levels total stations. So you see people surveying on site, that sort of thing. These practicals will teach you methods of contractors used to work out where things should be built and make sure they're built in the correct location. Uh, the module also has a residential trip, which is to complete a three day long practical exam, which I know does sound quite scary, but it's a really great chance to practice everything you've learned and a good opportunity to get to know your course mates better. 
Uh, and as the trip is scheduled at the end of the year, once all the exams are finished, it's also a good chance for a little celebration. So next module is conceptual design. This module introduces the idea and rationale of design philosophy, considering what factors are important in any given design process. Uh, you also get introduced to the Euro codes. So these are design guidelines or guides that uh, have been honed and perfected by engineers from all over Europe. The ability to read these codes uh, and understand certain design pre procedures is very important. Anyone can follow a set of instructions, but actually knowing how and why design code method is written in a certain way is something as engineers we really do need to understand. Uh, and then I think the last module then is Fluid Mechanics 1. So this introduces fundamentals of fluid flow in pipes and channels. In addition, key principles such as Bernoulli, conservation of mass uh, in the system are also taught. So this is another module where you actually get uh, to go into the labs and practically apply the ideas presented and really kind of see those concepts in action. Now, this is something I find really helpful personally. I find it easier to visualize and understand concepts when I'm able to physically complete an experiment. Uh, seeing what happens when certain parameters are changed and why certain things happen. That's just a quick summary of the first year civil engineering modules at Swansea University. If you have any questions, I'd encourage you to drop the admissions team an email or visit the Swansea University's UniBuddy page where you can contact me or one of the other ambassadors to ask us anything about student life, the course, the university. Um, yeah, we'll be happy to help. So thank you for listening.